Hello, my name is Jeff Malavasi, and today we will be discussing a new domain of cryptography known as lightweight cryptography. Specifically, we will investigate how these new ciphers deliver confidentiality and integrity to IoT and other resource-constrained devices while maintaining performance. In 2020, there were over 50 billion IoT devices online, and that number is expected to grow exponentially. IoT devices collect, store, and transmit data about their local environment. The data is then sent to a server or device with much more compute power to aggregate and analyze the information. Security often becomes a challenge in these networks because endpoints are resource constrained and accessible on the public internet. Most IoT devices operate with just kilobytes to megabytes of RAM. Additionally, according to a recent report by Zscaler, over 90% of IoT traffic is sent over unencrypted channels. This provides bad actors with a large attack surface to intercept and potentially modify IoT traffic before it reaches its destination. IoT devices are especially vulnerable to confidentiality-based attacks since they are often deployed in public spaces where physical access to endpoints is easily achievable. Security goals help cryptographers design secure systems. The CIA triad is a well-known depiction of the most common security goals. In this project, I will outline how lightweight cryptography achieves the goals of confidentiality and integrity. Confidentiality ensures that the correct data is presented to the correct user. Integrity is responsible for detecting malicious or accidental changes to data, as well as correcting errors on the fly. Note that in contrast to confidentiality, it is expected that the data will be manipulated and therefore proper system integrity requires compensating mechanisms. Availability ensures that data is there when needed. But availability goals will not be discussed as encryption does not provide a direct solution to this problem. A security first architecture is particularly important in IoT as more critical infrastructure is integrating resource constrained devices into day-to-day -day business operations. For example, in healthcare IoT, Resource-constrained devices are being used on ambulances to help emergency medical technicians and paramedics monitor patient health. If this information is tampered with, it could ultimately lead to the wrong treatment. Cryptography has been used for thousands of years to provide confidentiality and integrity while exchanging messages between two parties. Over time, as the strength of encryption improved, it often became more resource intensive, creating a large gap in secure devices online. Modern cryptography relies on high-powered math, often using modular and logarithmic calculations. Encryption algorithms can be categorized into block and stream ciphers. Block ciphers are often implemented because they can process large data streams by breaking them into smaller chunks. They provide both confidentiality and integrity. Integrity is provided through the addition of a message authentication code, or MAC, a MAC is simply a message fingerprint. The MAC allows the receiver to verify the contents of the message to ensure that they weren't modified during transmission. AES is a modern example of a block cipher. It was ultimately selected as the replacement for DES in 2001 after an NSA-sponsored encryption competition. It works using a complicated and multi-step substitution permutation network. Due to the complexity in round functions, AES can be quite resource intensive and often slow or unusable on IoT devices. In contrast to block ciphers, stream ciphers process data one bit at a time. This is often extremely efficient, but provides confidentiality only as there is no way to verify the contents of the message. An example of a stream cipher is ChaCha. ChaCha was originally proposed by researchers Daniel J. Bernstein in 2008 and was designed to be a faster and more lightweight version of AES. Its main difference from AES is that it's a stream cipher instead of a block cipher. This helps to improve its performance and efficiency. Lightweight cryptography is designed to bridge the gap between modern crypto and devices that lack the resources necessary to be able to properly secure data transmission. In February of 2019, the National Institutes of Standards and Technologies called for public submissions for lightweight crypto candidates 
and has recently narrowed the selection down from the original 36 submissions to just 10 finalists. The majority of lightweight cryptographic algorithms are based on the authenticated encryption with additional data primitive, pictured below. This is because it can provide both confidentiality and integrity in the same data stream. In the AEAD model, the nonce is used to prevent replay attacks, ensuring that the same plain text will not encrypt to the same ciphertext. The tag is output with a message to verify the message integrity, ensuring that the data was not tampered with or corrupted during transmission. After an extensive literature review, it was shown that when designing lightweight algorithms, block ciphers tend to be more successful with lightweight cryptography. This is due to two main reasons. Firstly, block ciphers can efficiently provide both confusion and diffusion, whereas stream ciphers tend to only provide confusion. Secondly, block ciphers are harder to reverse because their round functions offer more operations than just XOR, commonly seen in stream ciphers. The main difference between modern and lightweight crypto is the use of small block sizes, small key lengths, and simple round functions. Oftentimes, with modern cryptography, researchers have to balance performance, cost, and security. A well-designed lightweight system, however, should not compromise between only a handful of these goals. Smaller block sizes are useful because they will consume less memory. This is especially important as IoT devices have very little resources. However, this needs to be carefully considered since the reduction of block size also de decreases the security margin as the potential number of unique blocks decrease. Finally, simpler round functions can also improve efficiency, but they must be balanced with more iterations of rounds in order to maintain a high security margin. In this project, we will look at the following lightweight cryptographic ciphers. GIFT COFB is a block cipher with 128-bit key nonce and tag. Tiny Jambo is another lightweight block cipher that has a variable key length. Tiny Jambo is a permutation based cipher that utilizes shift registers. Elephant is made up of three variants Dumbo, Jumbo, and Delirium. Each variant uses the same key and nonce, but vary in the size of the MAC, permutation type, and the number of rounds. Elephant is a much heavier set of ciphers and uses an encrypt than MAC method to provide integrity. Grain 128 AEAD was chosen as an example of a lightweight stream cipher. The Grain family was originally introduced in 2008, and researchers based the cipher on Grain 128A with the intent to make minimal changes as the security of the cipher was already well established. Each cipher provides both confidentiality and integrity through the use of authenticated encryption with additional data. Each cipher will be tested on an Arduino DUE. Shown on the left is the code that was used to run the analysis. The first steps run the baseline test of Chotka, and the following blocks test each algorithm. Note that the number of loops must be reduced for Elephant because of its high performance cost. On the right shows the output of each test with an average speed listed for each cipher. The aim of the experiment was to determine if there were any performance benefits to the proposed lightweight cryptographic ciphers that were recently announced by NIST. Each of the above ciphers were compared to a modern cipher, ChaCha Poly, in order to validate their performance on resource-constrained hardware. Each algorithm was used to encrypt and decrypt a series of 128-byte and 16-byte packets. When comparing block and stream ciphers to the modern ChaCha Poly block cipher, there is generally a significant increase in speed with block ciphers over stream ciphers. Additionally, these figures illustrate the asymmetric nature of block ciphers operations. As you can see, encryption is often much faster than decryption. Additionally, in this figure, each operation was averaged together to determine a relative speed for each algorithm. We can see that Tiny Jambo and GIFT COFB were between 15 and 20% than the baseline Cha Cha Poly. As expected, the slowest algorithms were Grain 128 AEAD, a stream cipher, and the Elephant Suite. This was expected as they have a significant overhead compared to the other lightweight ciphers. Lightweight cryptographic algorithms, Tiny Jambo and GIF COFB provide confidentiality and integrity while maintaining performance on resource-constrained devices. 
Both algorithms performed better than the baseline, whereas grain 128 AEAD and variants of Elephant were slower. Due to the vast diversity in hardware in the IoT space, it will be important to have multiple algorithms to choose from when designing a secure solution. Further work will need to be completed to help identify which algorithms work best on other resource-constrained systems. Additionally, other metrics should be tested, such as memory utilization, CPU utilization, and power usage.